guys, today I have my July hits and misses and I haven't done one of these videos in quite a few months and have been trying out loads of different products and some of these I really did like and some of them just pretty much didn't work for me. Now some of these that are my misses, they were really hyped up on the internet and I tried them out and they really didn't work for me and I really didn't like them. I really like doing these videos because I can show you products that I do like and also products that I don't like and I feel like it's really good to get loads of different opinions on these videos so if any of these products do work out for you and they didn't work out for me then just comment down below to let me know and also if there's any products you want me to try out just let me know as well and I'll be sure to check those out. Now if you haven't already realised I do have new hair and I did go to the salon yesterday and got this done. Now this isn't the eventual shade that I want to go to, this is the middle shade because my hair was super super dark and about three years of dyeing was on my hair and it took four hours to actually get this colour and I actually really like it even though it is the middle colour and it's only going to be in my hair for a couple of weeks. I do like it, it's like an auburn brown colour but then when I look in the mirror it's just really strange because I haven't had this hair colour in probably about six years and it just looks like a wig and just feels like a wig. I don't know if any of you guys have had that feeling when you've gone from one colour to a drastically different colour. So I'm going to start off by showing you my July favourites. So the first favourite that I have isn't actually a beauty product but these are my new glasses. I did have these in my What's In My Bag video and I'll link that down below for you but I really like these. These are from Select Specs. Now they did contact me and said that I could choose whichever glasses that I wanted because they wanted me to try them out and see if they're any good. So I could choose whichever ones I wanted. I could choose prescription ones or non-prescription ones. So I decided to pick out these ones and I got prescription ones and you know what? These are really really good. I've worn these for driving, I've worn these for watching the TV and going on my laptop and things like that and they work really really well. So this is what they look like on and I do have quite a few fingerprints right on the frames right here but just ignore that and I really like these. They feel really good on my head and they don't fall down or anything like that which is really good because I've had some prescription glasses before and they've just pretty much fell off of my head. They've been really really loose. I also like the fact that they're a little bit stiffer when you try and open and close them because I don't feel like that they're really flimsy. They don't feel like flimsy material either and the lenses are really good and they're scratch resistant as well and these are only retail for £10 which is pretty much incredible because I do have two pairs from Specsavers and I did get those buy and get on free but that cost me about £90 for two pairs and when you think that you can get these for £10 and they work amazingly and perfectly and are pretty much exactly the same then I say go ahead and get these. You also get the cleaner cloth as well and then you also get a case of it which I think is really good because this is really nice and sturdy and it's not like the bulky ones that you can get when you get other prescription glasses and it's not flimsy or anything like that, it's really sturdy and these slot in really really well and I've just been wearing these so much recently and I just love them and I can't believe that they're only £10 but if you do want to try some really cheap prescription glasses I do recommend that you pick these up because they're really good. Now on to my beauty favourites and the first one that I have is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I absolutely love this concealer. This is the best one by far that I've ever tried. I did used to use my Maybelline Fit Me concealer but then it started irritating under my eyes and I don't really know why. I do have really sensitive under eyes but I've never had a concealer that's irritating them and this doesn't irritate me at all. It's the perfect colour for me. The shade that I have is light neutral and this acts as a really good highlighter and also conceals your under eye circles really well as well. I am wearing this at the moment. I've been wearing this every single day for the past couple of months and I've just run out of it so I've had to purchase another one and I will keep repurchasing this because it's so good. It blends out amazingly. It doesn't go cakey and it doesn't go in the creases under your eyes as well and it's just perfect. I just absolutely love this. Next I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I did have this in my Florida haul which I'll link down below for you and I do have two different shades. I have 112 and 128 and I mix these together to get my perfect shade and I started using this when I was in America and I really did like it and then I stopped using it for a couple of months because I did have different foundations and I was trying out a load of different ones for work and then I went back to this two weeks ago and I have been wearing this every single day to work. This is a perfect foundation for people that have oily skin and very large pores. This minimises my pores and also keeps my oils at bay for a very long time. Now in my office for the last couple of weeks it's been so hot, literally everyone's been sweating, it's like we've been melting because it's been so hot over here. One of the days this week it was 34 degrees and it was the same temperature in the office and it was just unbearable, everyone's faces were dripping and this held up really well. I was at work for about seven and a half hours on that day and this managed to last for five hours and then it started to come off which is really good. Next I have the CoverGirl the Super Size and Mascara and I did do a first impression on this which I'll link down below for you and I have literally just fell in love with this mascara so in my first impression I wasn't too sure how I felt about it because it did start to look really spidery and really cakey after the second coat and I didn't really like it because I just pretty much stuck together but now I've been trying this out every single day for about two months now and 
I really like it. It's managed to separate my lashes. It makes them super long, super thick. I don't even need to wear false lashes with this and I'm wearing it at the moment. And I've had so many compliments from people telling me that my eyelashes look super long. And when you think that this is about $5 in America, that is super, super affordable. And when I go back, I'm gonna be getting loads and loads of these because I've just fell in love and my eyelashes look amazing using this. Next, I have the Becca Highlighter in Champagne Pop. And when I first got this, I wasn't too sure how I felt about it. But ever since I've been using it a lot now, I have to say that I really do love it. I am wearing it today on the tops of my cheekbones, also on my highlighter for my eyes and also on the inner corner. And it's literally incredible. Just look at that highlighter on my cheeks. It's just amazing. I'm just obsessed with it. So this is really highly pigmented. It works amazingly on fair skins as well. And it lasts all day. And I've had so many compliments while I've been wearing it. And I'm just literally obsessed with this highlighter. It's just blown so many of them out of the park. I have the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Matte fine toner and I have been using this on my skin for about a week now and it's been working amazingly on my skin. It's been helping keep my skin really nice and matte along with my mattifying moisturiser and also I've been breaking out a lot recently and this has been working incredibly on my blemishes. Now I use this and the next day the redness of my blemishes has gone down. Also the size has gone down as well and it just feels really nice and refreshing on the skin. Now if you don't like the smell of tea tree you're probably not going to like the smell of this because it is quite strong but if you can get past the smell this is an incredible toner and this also comes out in stores at the end of July so make sure that you pick this up if you do have oily skin and blemishes I promise you this is going to work really well and it's made such a difference to my skin and my last favourite is a fragrance and this is the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction fragrance and this is incredible this is literally by far the best scent in Victoria's Secret and I just am in love with it now I like getting these because I can just fit these in my bag and I can just use this on the go and it smells sort of like strawberries and then it's got a hint of something else as well but it's just amazing incredible Neil loves it all of my friends who have smelt this love it as well my mum loves it and yeah this is just amazing it doesn't last a whole day but it's really good when you want to build it up you can mix it with other fragrances as well but this on its own is just perfect and I'm just obsessed with this fragrance now I'm going on to my misses of July now all of these products are raved about on the internet and they just didn't work for me and I just didn't really like them so the first one that I have is the Pureology strength cure shampoo and this is meant to be incredible this this is so expensive I think I got this on offer for £12 for this bottle and people are raving about it saying that it changed their lives when they used it as a shampoo and that it was amazing on their hair and this also has no parabens it has no sulfates in it it's also vegan and it has loads of different anti-fade complexes and things like that and it's meant to be used for people that have colour treated hair and also that are damaged now I'm just going to go straight to the point this just did not work for me it actually made my hair feel worse now when I use the conditioner I also do a deep repair mask as well so it makes my hair feel really nice and soft this literally dried out my hair it didn't feel any different the smell is so disgusting I just I can't really just let you know what the smell is because I don't know what it is it, it's just disgusting it doesn't smell fruity or anything like that it smells really chemically the only thing that I can imagine it to is when I help Neil's sister down the yard and it smells like horses it smells like that it also smells like really strong perfumes loads of chemicals and it's just really off-putting this also says that you're only meant to use a tiny amount and it's meant to froth amazingly and go throughout the whole of your hair this did not work like that I put so much of this in my hair and it did not froth at all it was just the worst thing that I've ever tried in my life I wish I could get my money back on it because it just didn't work and I don't know if it's just me and my hair but I did try this a couple of times and I just didn't like it and it was just really rubbish and I'm just gonna stick to my one that I get from Costco in the giant tub about this big and it's only six pounds and that has no sulfates in it and it works really well on my hair so I'm gonna stick to that one next I have the Kylie lip kit in court K now I absolutely hate this lip kit this was super expensive this is $29 plus I had to pay customs fee plus I had to pay a really high delivery charge on this and this just was not worth it so the consistency of this is really watery also the pigmentation is really not there it's really bad I did do a makeup tutorial using this which I'll link down below for you so you can check that out but I had to build up this color three times and then it gets opaque and then it starts to flake off and look really cakey and look really horrible also even if you do use a lip liner with this it does start to go on the outside as well 
but the only good thing about this is that it doesn't budge for a very long time like you can eat and this won't come off the only way that it does come off is in flakes and it's a little bit annoying when you see that you got flakes around your mouth because this has come off you know, I haven't even worn this out because it just doesn't last as long as the other ones and I definitely recommend picking up Cork K or Candy K because those ones are so much better than this one and the last product that I have is a product from Mr Blank Teeth now this is really upsetting me because I always use Mr Blank Teeth whitening strips the normal ones I use them all the time and my teeth are so white and I do have a coupon code down below for you so you can check that out but I really don't like these ones and it really pains me to say it because I love their whitening strips but these just didn't work out for me and these were actually on offer which is the only reason why I got them and this is the Mr Blank Teeth Express Teeth Whitening Top Ups and these are 30 dissolvable strips and they take 15 minutes. So I'm not quite sure what I thought these were going to be when I first purchased them. They are dissolvable ones and I just thought that you put them on your teeth and then they'd start to dissolve after a certain amount of time and then they'd go. So what I did is I brushed my teeth and then about 20 to 30 minutes later I put a strip on the top teeth and within a couple of minutes the strip started to dissolve and then what was left over was the stuff that was meant to be on the strip. It was just stuck on my teeth and my top lip literally got stuck to the stuff that was on my teeth and I couldn't move my mouth. It was literally like this for ages. I was like that because I couldn't move my top lip and it just felt disgusting, it tasted vile and bearing in mind after about 20 minutes it still didn't dissolve so I eventually had these on my teeth for about 40 minutes and then I couldn't handle it anymore and I had to just take all of the stuff off because the taste was disgusting. It was going down my mouth and I don't know how you're going to escape that. I just didn't like the taste of it, I didn't like the feel of it. Also I could still feel it on my teeth after I got them off and I didn't really notice any difference with the whitening so if you do want to get whitening strips from mr blank teeth definitely get the original ones i love those ones they work incredibly on me but these ones just weren't worth the money and i don't really see how these are going to work so i'm just not really too much of a fan of these so this is everything in my july hits and misses i hope that you enjoyed this video if there's any products that you want me to test out then just comment down below to let me know and i'll be sure to check those out also if there's any products in here that did work for you but didn't work for me then i'm super happy that they work for you but this is literally my own opinion so the ones that did work for me worked amazingly and the ones that didn't just didn't work for myself but it's not to say that they wouldn't work for anyone else so make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video guys bye